We are going to be using the problem loose change to look at how to make systematic lists. Leslie has 25 cents in her pocket, but does not have a quarter. If you can tell her all the possible combinations of coins she could have that sum to 25 cents, she will give you the 25 cents. So the first thing I need to do is I need to highlight the key phrases in this problem. First of all, the fact that she has 25 cents is very important. But then we discover that she does not have a quarter. That is also very important. And the question asks us to find all the possible combinations of coins. Once I've identified the key areas in my problem, I need to determine how I'm going to organize my information. And here I'm going to create a chart that lists all the coins that she possibly could use. Notice I'm going from the most value to the least value. So a dime, a nickel, and a penny. And I'm going to create an organize list to discover all the possible combinations. I want to try to find a systematic way of doing this. So what is the most number of dimes she could have to try to get as close to 25 cents as possible? We all know that's two. That gives us 20 cents. So then the most number of nickels she could have would be one, and that would leave no pennies. We continue in this fashion. Two dimes, zero nickels, and then that would leave us with five pennies. We've exhausted all the possibilities with two dimes, so now I'm going to go to one dime. If she has one dime, which is ten cents, the most number of nickels she could have would be three, and that would leave zero pennies. Again, one dime, two nickels, and five pennies. One dime, one nickel, and ten pennies. One dime, zero nickels, and fifteen pennies. At this point, you should start to notice a pattern. We're going to continue this pattern until we have all the final possibilities. So with zero dimes, we could have five nickels and zero pennies. Zero dimes, four nickels, and five pennies. Zero dimes, three nickels, and ten pennies. Zero dimes, two nickels, and fifteen pennies zero dimes, one nickel, and twenty pennies, zero dimes, zero nickels, and twenty-five pennies. Let's remember what the question was asking for, and that was all the possible combinations. So now we go through and we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we summarize our answer by stating that there are twelve possible ways that she could have 25 cents in change without a quarter. Don't forget to identify your answer and always double check to make sure that you are answering the question correctly before you submit your work.